here we are at the Concord Beaver Tail Stop and when you're skating on the Ottawa Rio Canal it's mandatory that you purchase one beaver tail and one hot chocolate to put you in a fantastic mood and to give you the energy for the 15.6 uh, kilometer skate and if you've got lots of energy you can skate the Rio Canal twice for 31.2 kilometers and that is exactly what we are going to be doing today one loop for video and one loop for photography. The distance from one end of the Ottawa Rio Canal to the other is 7.8 kilometers or 5 miles. So a round trip is 15.6 kilometers or 10 miles. And uh, the Ottawa Rio Canal Skateway, to my knowledge, is the only place in the world where you can skate on an ice surface that is five miles long and it is so much fun <laughs> i can't emphasize how much fun it is when the ice is in such bright condition as it is today a total ice skate is uh 10 miles and if you have lots of energy like i always seem to have it's always good to skate the Ottawa Rio Canal twice for a total of 31.2 kilometers or 20 miles of ice skating. That usually takes between two to three hours. And it is well worth every minute. If you have kids, definitely bring them along. Kids love skating on the Ottawa Rio Canal Skateway. And if they're lucky, 5,000 to 10,000 of their closest skating friends will be here. <laughs> and I kid you not, for uh, kids that are too young to skate, parents can uh, bring down baby joggers, umbrella strollers, strollers, sleds, Plays, toboggans, whatever it takes to help get your kids from one end of the ice to the other. And for those kids who do love to ice skate, there is no minimum age to start ice skating on the Ottawa Rio Canal Skateway. If you know how to walk, you know how to ice skate. And uh, that's when kids start. It is important for uh, kids to wear helmets though, as it is so easy to accidentally skate into a crack and fall. And so, uh, dressing warmly and wearing the proper headgear is very important. And I definitely recommend that kids also have the uh, wire mesh uh, face plates as well. This weekend I uh, saw a six-year-old girl have the most terrible fall face first into the ice. And uh, although she was wearing her helmet, she uh, hit her forehead very hard on the ice. And this could have been prevented with the uh, face plate or with the wire mesh that can go on the front of the helmet and I never ever gave it a, a second thought before as to why kids had those until I saw this girl fall face first into the ice and uh, it was a very painful fall so just a bit of wisdom with uh, parents who have kids who love to ice skate but would like to make sure that if their kids uh, are just learning how to ice skate that uh, this is an important form of protection. We are now skating up to the Laurier Bridge well on our way to downtown Ottawa where the Ottawa Congress Center, the Ottawa Rideau Center and the National Arts Center are located. 
And for tours to the Ottawa area, this would probably want be one of the central places where they would park their car at the Rideau Center to go ice skating on the canal. Oh, he's just adorable. Yeah, you can never be too young to go ice skating on the Ottawa Rideau Canal. And what makes today extra special is that it's so quiet and the conditions are so good. Thank heavens for Monday when everyone has to go to work. <laughs> and here we are, the world's largest skating rink, La Plus Grande Patinoire du Monde. Now, let's go and get the official proof of that. We're going to skate right to the very beginning at our zero zero point. Rio Center Beaver Tail Hat. Oh, I'm so craving a beaver tail today. A beaver tail and hot chocolate. But I still have 15.6 kilometers to go on my ice skate. Beginning of the Ottawa Rio Canal Stateway. 